by fours. Rusty nails. Tape measure. My saw. So, I think I'm gonna do these about 16 inches long. It gives me enough to use more of the board than waste. The ones like this I can't use. So I'm kind of restricted to a lot. Like this one I can't use. Can't use that probably. That or probably the twisted one. So it kind of sucks, but. Just doing the first cut, doesn't matter where it is. Do your first cut, measure, and do your other cut. Makes it easier. from inside angle to inside angle. Very important. Always mark that angle. Very important. So I think I want them all to fit inside and then to the next smallest one. One easy trick for doing angles and lengths here, you can just butt it up with the 45. That. And then just mark it with pencil. Quick way. So for this part, I think I'm gonna just rough nail them together with the air nailer just to hold them. But for like for the bigger ones, just some old rusty nails. So I don't think the air nailers, well they won't hold them, they won't be strong enough to put some glass or whatever on it so you don't want it to come apart. But on the end here, what I think I'm going to do with the lightness in here, and you can see in this one too, I like burning stuff. So I'm just going to get the torch and go over it lightly, just to darken it a little bit. I think it'll look a lot better. Thank you.
So I stuck with the brad nails. I didn't actually pound nails in because it actually is way tougher than I thought. So there's no point in doing that. So we'll leave it like this. That's about it.